Uh, my name is Richard Mayer. I'm from the University of California at Santa Barbara, and I've been um, uh, trying to study um, uh, instructional methods that promote um, deep learning or transfer for probably the last 30 or 40 years. So uh, my interest is in um, how can you teach people in ways so that they can take what they've learned and apply it to new situations. So that's really the classic issue. How, what is it? How can we promote it? What instructional methods are really effective in uh, helping people learn so they can transfer? Well, I, I've been interested in um, instructional design principles for multimedia learning for quite a while. So how, how can you design a multimedia presentation so that it can be most effective? How should you design the graphics and the words? And um, more recently, I've gotten very interested in maybe trying to apply those same ideas to how, how can you design uh, educational games so that they will promote um, learning or learning outcomes. Because I think in education, for us, the, uh, our interest is in promoting learning. Um, game designers design games probably for entertainment, and, um, and we know they're very motivating. So, you know, an obvious question is, can we harness the motivational attraction of games and use it for um, an educational purpose? So that, that's an idea I've been wanting to explore. That's what I um, explored in my talk. There are a lot of very strong claims made for, um, for the power of educational games. Um, visionaries in this field um, kind of envision a future where education will be revolutionized um, based on um, video games and, and that um, new, new generation of learners using video games and the principles of video games and education will help them learn much better than we're doing now. Uh, if you look at the research evidence, there's really not evidence to support that vision yet. There's, there are a lot of claims, but there's only weak evidence. So what I tried to do in my talk is um, to look at research on the effectiveness of video games, try to systematically look at how you might study this, and, and just based on the research in my lab, try to summarize what we have found so far. One very interesting question is, do people learn better from games than just from the conventional instruction that we're using now? And what we have found in our research is that, well, not usually. Uh, and most, we've looked at um, adventure games where, for example, you, um, again, a desktop, com a desktop computer game where you, um, oh, one called Cash 17 where you um, are going through a bunker, you're l searching for some stolen art, and you have to open doors that are stuck. You have to, and in order to do that, you have to build these electrical mechanical devices. So you're learning about how electrical mechanical devices work by building them, um, and you're going through the, you're going through the bunkers. Um, we compare that to um, just explaining to people how those devices work in a PowerPoint presentation. You have the exact same words as are in the game. And people actually, uh, on a transfer test about how those devices work, do much better from a PowerPoint presentation than from playing the game. So even though the game is fun and it's really cool and it took a year and a half to make, um, a PowerPoint presentation that took us like three hours to make was more effective. So I, 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 I think in spite of all the enthusiasm, we have to look at the, the research evidence and kind of base, our, base what we're doing on the evidence because um, ultimately all the enthusiasm is going to evaporate if we can't develop games that actually do foster learning.